Hey guys, so uh, those of you who watch me more regularly or have been subscribed to me for a while may already recognize what I'm about to say. I'm darker. I'm darker today. The reason I did this is because the other day I was in Family Dollar and I was rocking an orange lip and this lady came up to me and she was like, oh my god, I'm so, I love that color, but I could never do that, I could never do that, I could never do that, I'm too dark, blah, blah, blah. and I'm like, yes you could. Not only was this woman stunning and had great, really great features, but you you just can. I think you can wear just about anything as long as it's applied well and your face is balanced. So that's what I'm going to do today. I'm going to show you how to wear two um, styles of an orange lip. What I want to say is bold lip statement brow. You need a strong brow for a strong lip because it balances your face out. You really can't do a big bold lip with a wimpy eyebrow. Okay. And I'm just going to use my little Estee Lauder um, quad here. It just has like a really nice dark brown in it. So I'm going to take a crease brush and define my crease. And don't don't be tempted to do that because that creates a false crease. You know, see? So I'm just going to define my outer V and my crease. Here comes my mother. Oh, nope. And I'm just going to really bring that in. And you can't even see it. Let me just build it. And I would zoom in for you, but I mean this is relatively simple. You can go in and define your crease and do your outer V work. And if you want to bring it in a little bit, you can as well. I'm thinking about incorporating this darker foundation into my everyday life because it, I just love the way it looks. It really, really covers flaws effortlessly because you're making your whole face darker. The dark area over my lip is like vanished into thin air. And it looks pretty natural. The only thing that doesn't look natural with my chest is a little bit lighter and a little bit more red. But I love it. Actually, I'm going to use Truly Topaz, which is even lighter. And I'm going to go ahead and take and highlight my brow bone. Okay. I'm going to take it and blend it. Blend it, blend it, blend it. I, this face is pretty much all matte, and the next step what we're going to do is we're going to um, really enhance our eyes by thickening our lash line. And I'm going to take the black, you can use any black, you can use a black eyeliner, you can use um, an NYX jumbo pencil, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take an eyeliner pencil, eyeliner brush, and go in really, really close to my lash line. In fact, I'm gonna, ooh, I'm gonna lie, I'm gonna, I'm gonna line my upper waterline. You can even rub it through your lashes, cause it helps to create a thicker look to your lashes. It helps to define the eye and come down a little bit. Now onto the lips. I'm using a very bright neon orange from Kat Von D. I actually just got a sample of it. And I love this color because it's so bright and so shocking, but it's matte. And it's really moisturizing. I'm just going to paint your lips very, very precisely. I mean, very precisely because this is a very, very bright color. It's matte and it's very opaque. So if it's not on point, it's going to show and it's not going to look good. Okay, so this is pretty much what I have so far. So we're also going to go in and add some mascara. This is the Revlon Double Twists. It's alright. I have some, um, I think glue in my eyelash. So it's not going to do as much as it usually would. Okay, this look also looks very dramatic because my lips are, um, big. <laughs> 
basically my lips are big and um, you can add a little gloss on top because this look is this lip is very matte okay so there is two glasses I have it's this one that's kind of like coral colored and you can brush it on top that is that for the first way to wear it the second way to wear it is kind of more flamboyant so automatically I'm going to grab my MAC um, Gold Rush Mineral Deposit and I'm going to get a nice little brush just to give my face more of a sun-kissed look automatically and then blend that and kind of brush it over my face automatically I'm going to take that same I'm going to take a lip brush oh, and um, mm, I should probably use an eyeshadow brush but <coughs> and I'm going to go on my bottom lash line come up like that I'm going to go to the other side and do the same thing okay so right now we have that sort of thing going on going to take smudge it out and sweep it into my outer V windshield wiper black okay. and kind of like a smoky eye do the same thing on this side smudge it And then take this and drag it in. When she my liquid eyeliner and go for more pronounced I so there you pretty much have a black and brown smoky cat eye with a very sharp orange lip. Okay guys, let me know what you think. Let me know if you have any requests, any questions, any comments. No hate. If you don't like this look, you don't like it. You can change the color. You can do a fuchsia. You can do it with red. You can do it with one of those colors that aren't found in nature. Like a blue lip or something like that. And um... I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.